A part of this video is sponsored by GPU Audio. Hi, my name is Jonas. Today I'm going back to the 90s again and create an authentic happy hardcore track. I mean the Dutch happy hardcore this time, not the UK rave stuff. I already did another video about that and you can check it out here. In the mid 90s producers took the then very popular Gabber sound and combined them with a lot of elements from the radio friendly Eurodance sound that was already going on for a couple of years. They also sprinkled in some trance here and there, mainly the German rave records do that quite a lot and of course it also still has this typical UK uh, happy hardcore rave vibe, although this really is a thing on its own. For this video I'll focus on the commercial sound that was produced by mostly Dutch producers between 95 and 97. At that time the charts were topped by DJ Paul Elstock, Charlie Lonas and Mel Teo, Nakatomi, The Party Animals, Techno Hat and many many more. Some of these tracks have ties to the actual Dutch hardcore scene, but many of these things really became a thing of its own. Some people even say that the popularity of Happy Hardcore in Holland was the downfall of the underground Gabber scene at the time and I think there's probably some truth in that. Uh, the underground simply didn't want to be associated with this happy radio friendly music anymore. Nevertheless, it was also the gateway to the underground genres for many young teenagers, including myself. I was 13 years old when Happy Hardcore started hitting the radios and although it's indeed a very cheesy genre, I still have a lot of nostalgic feelings about it. I will go for a DJ Paul Elstock Nakatomi style of track, these were the same producers anyways, and what do we need for such a track? Well basically the same equipment that we would use for Eurodance, with the difference that we will sprinkle in a few hardcore um, gabber elements here and there. And what best to start with than the Roland Alpha Juno, famous for its Hoover sound. It has been used in lots of hardcore and rave records, but it certainly also found its way into a lot of happy hardcore tracks. I created this uh, typical happy hardcore patch. It's a little bit less detuned and dirty as you would use for a Gabber lead, but it still has this very typical hardcore flavor. Now let's program the beats. As was common for many of these 90s genres, it's going to be mainly TR909 stuff, with the exception of the kick. That's going to be actually a synthesizer kick, and I suspect that many happy hardcore tracks and Eurodance tracks actually sampled it from the same source or similar sources. It sounds quite a lot like the kick uh, that was originally used in The Power of American Natives, and that kick was actually created on a Roland Modeler system. I'm going to use a very similar kick sound, but in this case it comes out of the FM engine of the Roland TR8S. So now let's build a typical Happy Hardcore 170 BPM beat. This genre shares a lot of things with the earlier 90s UK rave sound and that includes breakbeats. But instead of uh, the main beat here, it's more of a supporting thing. Well, let's use the most typical one we can find. Let's introduce the aim and break once again and mix it in with the beats we already programmed. And 
And for the bass, it's time for what is probably the most useful and used bass preset of all time. Lately bass out of the Yamaha TX-A1Z. It is so useful for so many genres and it has been used quite a lot in happy hardcore tracks as well. I'll add this other famous Yamaha FM organ patch from the FB01 for more 90s flavor. To make things really radio friendly, I'll need a proper vocal hook. I could go full on Eurodance and get a singer and a rapper, but I'm going to stay a bit more close to the original roots of the genre, sample another track and pitch it up a little bit until it's 170 BPM. You will probably recognize this vocal. I remember when you would say that you love me in every way. And now let's pitch it up. With that vocal hook in place, we can add some melodic elements. For some reason, bells were used quite a lot. One of my favorite examples is actually a German happy hardcore rave style track, Dune, Hardcore Vibes. In that track, they used the Cork Wave Station for the bells, I think. In this case, I'm going to use a JD8080, well, at least the Jupiter XM emulation. Now let's add some chords from the Cork Wave Station, well at least the emulation of the Wave Station, to fill out the background some more. This part of the video is sponsored by GPU Audio. Nowadays computers pack incredible power and we have been able to make good use of it for music production. But what about the graphics card? GPU Audio found a way to use graphics cards for audio processing. This seems like an obvious thing to do, but actually it's a very hard problem to solve as the standard DSP algorithms aren't optimized at all to run on the many cores of a GPU. They have been able to solve this problem and can parallel process many DSP workloads with minimal latency. GPU Audio have officially announced partnerships with AMD and Nvidia and they have Apple support coming soon. Following the release of the Early Access Convolution Reverb, they are releasing a beta suite of plugins featuring all kinds of classic audio effects, all powered by your GPU. The first beta suite release will be the Modulation Bundle, featuring three essential production effects Chorus, Phaser and Flanger. Be first to get a free beta suit for yourself by signing up using the link in the video description. Prepare for a full collection of GPU powered audio plugins. Choir patches are also used in happy hardcore tracks quite a lot. Um, you could find them in basically any Roland Yamaha and Cork module of the time. I'm going to use one from the Yamaha CS1X. It's a synthesizer from 1997, so it's at the end of the happy hardcore period, but I think it still counts. If you want a more authentic choir sound, you could probably check out the Cork uh, O1W, which was used uh, quite a lot by Charlie Low Noise for the 
choir patches in their tracks. Another typical happy hardcore staple that came from the late 80s house and early 90s rave tracks is the Cork M1 piano. It's one of those patches that basically always seems to fit perfectly in the mix and immediately gets this typical 90s sound going on. So now let's listen what happens if we bring all these melodic elements together. As a final thing, I'm going to add some heavily pitched up rap samples. It's one of those things I always used to love about these old school happy hardcore tracks and it's still a lot of fun to years later discover what rap tracks were actually sampled uh, in these uh, happy hardcore classics. So now I have more than enough elements to build a full happy hacker track like we're back in the 90s. Let's check out the final result. I think it worked out pretty great. Uh, it seems I've been born 10 years too late or I could have been scoring lots of happy hacker Dutch chart hits. Well, I'll have to do YouTube for today. Let's check out the final track.
that's it again for today. If you want more, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be notified as soon as a new video goes online, click the bell button. See you next time. Bye bye. Thanks to GPU Audio for sponsoring a part of this video. Check out their beta suit now using the link in the video description.